Hey guys, Michael here from MichaelSherlock.com. Let's talk about HTC at Mobile World Congress 2012. Of the couple uh, videos that I've made so far, I think HTC has the most interesting announcements, so let's get right into it. First and foremost, they spent a lot of time talking about camera technology at their press event. So some of the highlights. The camera will start in 0.7 seconds and autofocus takes a blisteringly fast 0.2 seconds. Now, in terms of low light, that's always been a problem for, you know, cameras, as, but particularly camera phones. The lens is an f2.0 lens, which is extremely wide and lets in a lot, a lot of light. In fact, 44% more light, although not really sure what they're comparing that to. HDR image correction is built in, and they compare this to the iPhone 4S. And of course, it beat it. Obviously, they're not going to have it lose in a comparison that they're making. But what's really cool, probably the coolest feature of all, and this is something that all the other stuff kind of just is good for the tech people, but this is what really is great for consumers. Simultaneous video and image capture. We see this with high-end DSLRs, now we have it in a smartphone. Basically how it works is you can record video, HD video, and you know when you see something cool you just click a button and while it's still recording video it takes a picture as well, which is really cool. And you can also go back and while you're watching video snap high quality images as well. In terms of the software overlay on these next uh, phones, the Sense 4 is what they've been touting. Uh, that means you'll have new features such as Media Link, so you can stream content directly to an HDTV without a proprietary cable. With that, you get 25 gigabytes of storage with Dropbox for free for the first two years of use. So 25 gigabytes of storage, that's a lot. Especially when you consider that Apple is charging about $25 a year for iCloud. Uh, this Dropbox sor service, free for two years, you could sort of equate that to two years of iCloud. So that's a $50 savings if you want to do some funky math like that. They also talked a lot about authentic sound. We know that HTC and Beats are a strong partnership together. They wanted to just remind you or tell you now that all audio is going to be processed by Beats algorithms. So not just local media that you have, but also YouTube videos and Spotify and Pandora that all is processed through Beats algorithms. So it just sounds just a tad bit better. And they also talked about wireless syncing so you don't have to go directly to your computer. In fact, what was really cool is even iTunes music will sync wirelessly with the, these Sense 4 enabled HTC devices, which was pretty cool. So what are the devices they actually announced? Let's, let's get to the heart of this. The HTC One is the device that we're going to be talking about. There are actually three of them, so it's kind of like a lineup, really. But it's basically their rebranding of their image. Now everything comes under that HTC One, and there are three specific smartphones they talk about. The X, the the X, the S, and the V, I'm sorry. So let's talk about the HTC One X first. This is the biggest of them all, 4.7 inch display, 1280 by 720, so 720p display, super LCD2 display, so not AMOLED, but we don't really see AMOLEDs in that size quite yet. This one is gonna have a polycarbonate design, so a la Lumia 800 um, and from Nokia, so polycarbonate. What's powering this bad boy? A Tegra 3 quad-core processor. That's amazingly fast. Again, I talked about Tegra 3 previously, but basically it's four cores when you're doing something that requires a lot of power, and then it switches over to one core when you just when you don't need the power, and that'll save you some battery life. Now that's for the global model. The LTE that'll so that'll be HSPA plus. The LTE version has a Snapdragon S4 1.5 gigahertz dual core CPU. Uh, that's going to be called the One XL. I assume the L stands for LTE. And AT&T will actually be selling you the One XL by the end of April, so that's pretty cool. That's the only difference. The LTE version is dual core. The global version, which is just HSPA Plus, is Tegra 3 quad core. Other than that, all the specs are the same. So, one gigabyte of RAM, 32 gigabyte of storage, an 8 megapixel camera with 1080p recording. Of course, all the features I talked about earlier in terms of the camera. A 1.3 megapixel front-facing camera with 720p recording. Again, this is ice cream sandwich, uh, as well as Sense 4, so it has Beats Audio and all that stuff I talked about. The one thing that's a little questionable, 1800 milliamp hour battery. Not sure if that's enough to power all this, especially an LTE version. But you know what, maybe we'll see. Maybe they did a really good job optimizing this and the new chipsets that they're using are really power efficient. So we'll see about that, but the One X is definitely an appealing phone. The One S, the next one I'm going to talk about, is actually smaller, but it's a little bit more interesting because instead of polycarbonate, it actually uses an aluminum unibody frame with a ceramic finish. So that's the One S. It has a 4.3 inch QHD AMOLED display, so it has a better technology for the display than the One X. This just has a Snapdragon S3 1.5 GHz dual core processor, so no Tegra 3 anywhere, as well as no 4G LTE servers on the One S. 
This will have 16 gigabytes of storage, ice cream sandwich, and Sense 4. So with Sense 4, again, you're getting that 25 gigabytes of free Dropbox cloud service. So 16 gigabytes and 24 gives you a lot in the cloud, gives you a lot of storage. Again, that aluminum unibody frame, which I talked about, the same 8 megapixel camera with 1080p recording that has all the cool features I talked about, i.e. the simultaneous video and picture capture, basically the same as in the One X. And what's really cool about this, it's thin. 7.9 millimeters thick, so it is very small uh, for a 4.3 inch phone. This will be shipping by the end of April for T-Mobile. So the One X is coming to AT&T, the One S is coming to T-Mobile, again both by the end of April. And finally, the One V. This is an entry level smartphone, but don't let that confuse you. This is actually a really interesting device. 3.7 inch WVGA display, uh, an aluminum unibody encasing with three hardware keys. This is basically like sort of a retro look, something that HTC, a look that HTC had for a while with their original Android devices, so it's kind of a throwback, if you will. Uh, it's really a throwback when you consider a 1 gigahertz single core CPU and 512 megabytes of RAM, 4 gigabytes of storage. Again, that's not nearly as enticing as, say, the One X or the One S, but again, this is an entry-level smartphone. When it launches, it'll be launching at a budget-friendly price point, so that kind of makes sense. Four gigabytes of storage, five-megapixel camera with 720p video recording, and even though it's not 8 megapixels, it's not 1080p, it still has all the great features from the camera that we talked about earlier. The battery is 1,500 milliamp hours. We don't have a solid launch date or carrier partners, uh, but this will be launching sometime in Q2 2012. So really, the HTC has gone out and they have revamped their lineup. They've now renamed everything HTC One. They're really making a strong push in audio with Beats and, you know, um, with picture taking with their new uh, design for their cameras. Uh, really, the HTC One X and the One S are two really high quality smartphones. The, you could argue that the One X is kind of the epitome of a super phone, if you will, with that quad-core technology. Honestly, this is a great time to be in the market for smartphones in late April um, because there's going to be a lot of choices out there with really, really fast um, hardware options and with the latest ice cream sandwich build from Google. So I'm Michael Sherlock from MichaelSherlock.com. What's your favorite part of the announcements from HTC? Is it the camera technology in itself? Is it the One S specifically? I'd love to hear your feedback in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a nice day.